Hey guys, recently I posted this photo of my girlfriend and I and I received a lot of good feedback from it and people asked me to do a tutorial on it so that's what I'm going to do. It was created with a process called multiplicity photography which is basically the process of taking one or multiple people or objects and putting them in the same photograph multiple times. I'm going to show you the process that I used to create this photograph but it can be applied to any kind of multiplicity photography. Alright, so now with the camera on the tripod, what I did is I set a 10 second timer and then I pressed the shutter button, went out and wherever I wanted to pose I went there for that and uh, then once the photo went off I came back, took another photo and I did that as many times as we wanted to just to make sure we had all the photos. Once you have the photos, we will take them to the computer and load them onto there and then I will show you where to go from there. Alrighty everybody, now that you have your photos loaded onto your computer, you're going to open up your main background in Photoshop and you're going to go to File, Place, and you're going to go to your Images folder and you're going to select the next image to go on top. So there it is, you're going to press Enter, make sure it's selected, come down to your Layer Mask button which is right here, the little gray rectangle with the white circle. Click on that, make sure it's selected, bring up your brush tool by pressing B on your keyboard and make sure that black is your foreground color. And what you're going to do with layer masks, the key is to remember black conceals and white reveals. So whatever you paint black is going to disappear and whatever is white on your layer mask right over here is going to be what you see. So what I do is I paint away the part that I want in the image. and make sure you get the whatever couch, the tree branches, whatever it is that could change from uh, picture to picture. So you've got all that and then you're gonna press Command I or Control I if you're on a PC and that's gonna inverse your layer mask because so whatever was white is black, whatever is black is white now. So now we are the ones showing. So what you're gonna do next is come up to your file menu, go to place, select your next image press enter, press enter again to place it, select it, create a layer mask, bring up your brush tool, make sure that black is your foreground color. Once again you're going to paint away whatever you want to be in the image. There we go, so everything's painted away and then you're going to press command I, control I if you're on a PC once again. And there you go. That's all you do for each step. I could sit here and explain it more and go through each one, but you guys get the idea of it. It's pretty simple. You just paint it away on the layer mask, press command I to inverse it, and then there it'll be there. You can go in afterwards with small details and make sure everything's painted correctly on the layer mask, but everything right now looks good. So thanks for watching guys. Subscribe to my channel. Um, write in the comment section if you have any um, suggestions for tutorials. I'll teach anything. Um, thanks for watching.